Welcome, we are Reach Review Time with Imperial, and today's review will be The Perfect Family. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's begin. Uh, so, I'm flipping through Netflix, looking for some stuff to watch and review, and this popped up. This movie came out actually in 2021, but for whatever reason, when I look at Netflix, it says 2022. Maybe that's when it start to appear on Netflix. When I looked it up, it's like a Spanish madcap comedy. And um, the synopsis reads, a Lucille's achievement of a perfect family is threatened by her son's loose living, dirty mouth girlfriend and possible in-laws that are not what she pictured for, her, for him. So this is, uh, if you've seen my uh, Man vs. B, Either you like this type of comedy or you don't, you know, so it depends on the individual. These type of quirky comedies, I can't watch all of them, but I can watch enough of them. Either I like them or I don't, but this is one of the ones I actually set through and it has some um, comedic moments in the uh, um, comedy. I mean, a movie rather, just like, uh, if you look on this channel, I got some, um, but they couldn't make a considered like a Spanish, um, zombie film. I forgot what the name of it, but it's on this channel. So I seen this one. Let me, why not, um, take a look at this comedy. This is probably like in Latin Netflix, you know, Netflix got different, um, like Netflix, Asia, Netflix, Europe, stuff like that. So this might be the Latin Netflix, but let's go over the cast. Um, so you got um, Belene Ruda as Lucille, that's the main character. Jose Caranda, that's Miguel, that's the father on the other side of the of the bride. Gonzalo de Castro as Ernesto, that's the father of the groom. Kalina Yusti as Sarah, that's the bride. Gonzalo Ramos as Pablo. There's a bunch of other characters, but I just told you the um, main characters. Let's get into it. So you got Ernesto and Lucille who Ernesto, um, I think he is astronomist, well off has a lot of paper a lot of uh, money and he affords his family a certain lifestyle but he's all into his work meanwhile the wife gave up her career a long time ago to be a father to her son and i say a father to her son be a mother to her son and pretty much be a stay-at-home mom but live the life of luxury. So they got their standards pretty high on what they want their son to be. However, the son end up messing with someone that didn't grow up like he did. Doesn't mean that she's a bad person, but different. She grew up different, so her, her she's more edgier, more loud mouth, and that attracted him. So which um, his girlfriend name is Sarah. And what she does is she's like a um, aerobic instructor. And she hit it off with Pablo. And so uh, they invite the mom and the dad to meet his girlfriend's family and right off the back they're coming in with their uh looking uh rich attire and attitude and energy and they come around these people who's down to earth and just being themselves but it's not what they're used to so you you know it's going to be interesting all the things that's happening and it's just chaos from the jump so it gets right into it and the mom right off the back the dad could care less pretty much he in his own world but the mom is she's really taking it like no my son can't do this so she's um intervening 
to try to intervene and say this ain't right. So, of course, her son proposes to Sarah. And the mom, Lucille, is stepping in trying to stop this wedding. But in the process, she don't want to uh, overstep her boundaries too much where she can offend her son. So by her intervening, the bride-to-be pretty much say, oh, thank you. She thought she took it as listen yes you can plan my wedding and everything so she set herself up and she didn't want to um she didn't want to offend her son so she went along with it now when she goes along with this they have a old town that they're from called Astoria it's this old they do everything like it's not really modernized and so they pretty much invite them there. The dad stay home and he has a maid who pretty much is annoying. Well, he the, the maid is annoyed by him pretty much. And the mom goes and the bride's father goes. So right off the bat, the father is attracted to Lucille and he pretty much uh, <laughs> he's on a mission to seduce her so he's talking all that you know that uh, suave lingo to uh, Lucille and she's pretty much not entertaining at first but she begins to start to entertain it and because her husband is always in work doesn't really pay attention like that she sees that Ernest, um, that Sarah's father is really giving her all the attention. So she's caught up in the seduction. No matter what she tries to do to avoid getting caught up in it, she goes deeper and deeper. So he even, um, <laughs> he makes the attempt to yell out early in the morning um, to cut wood so she could see him cutting wood. So, uh, and he during there uh, <laughs> gave all his back trying to do that, but that did catch her attention. And then um, it was one moment she slept at night and the window busted open from the wind and she was, you know, pretty much screamed frightened and he came in fixed the window and then picked her up and placed in the bed so that like that basically that was a turn on for her and so she was sleep she was slipping as well so they go in there's a lot of funny moments and while they get into the part of um letting sarah pick out her dress they're both flirting with each other the whole time drinking wine and entertaining and Lucille came she was fully dressed in her get up so uh, they falling deeper and deeper and at that moment they kiss and she was like we can't do this this is our um, kids wedding we plan for this ain't right he don't care now he got a wife too though his wife he's been married to her 25 years but he all caught up and so um they get to the finally get to the wedding and the father at this point is like no i'm going all in don't stop this feeling and we need to go she like we can't she trying to tell him we can't do this and or whatever so the wife is looking and he pretty much told lucille hey i got this cottage and if you you know basically you want to get down i'll be here and when he's uh he sees lucille they got like a kissing booth in a sense and lucille is pretty much trying to pull away from him but they end up tripping and he falls on top of lucille but it wasn't he wasn't trying to get it but he literally fall on top of her. but the wife seen it and the wife was upset and just ran off and so 
the wife ran and grabbed the mic from the son who's been a DJ. So he got little quirky moments, the son. And the wife jumped on uh, the microphone and pretty much called Lucilla um, a B and told her, you basically, you slept with my husband, Miguel. And Ernesto's looking at Lucille like, I can't believe you did this. You disgraced our son. And um, you disgraced our son. And then they he got her pretty much, he got her out. Uh, he got her out by the car and she basically like, you don't know you you don't want to know why and he like pretty much no we need to just get out of here and she started to you know come clean and say well you know you never paid attention to me and you know gave him the whole rundown and i needed love and i would have never fell for him but i did so he pretty much was like telling her you need to get some help and we we put you through a therapist and all that and she was like no it's nothing wrong with me whatever so she stepped off and now it was raining so she went to Miguel's cottage that he had and pretty much told him that since they already think we slept together we might as well do it so Miguel was all with that so he slept with her but when he woke up in the morning he still wanted to like do this for real but she didn't want that. She didn't really want him. She just, you know, she was telling the truth with her husband. So she's like, this is not right. So by this time, everybody was upset, disappointed. Lucille never went back home. She ended up staying in the um, town of Astoria, got a little shack, one bedroom place. And basically, she was going to make it work for herself. Meanwhile... Things was going on. Everybody was moving on. The wife, she was mad at Miguel. And he basically kept trying to apologize to her and bought her a rose. Meanwhile, um, Ernesto was depressed. But then he started picking himself back up. Lucille got a job being like a teacher. And they were looking for... And she, was, she started mingling with the town, the people of the town. She got a haircut. She was getting her swag back. And um, she, at the school she was at, they needed a new physician. And Sarah came there to apply for the position, but she, she was conceived with child. She had, a, she was pregnant, and so Lucille was all excited, like I'm going to be a grandmother. Like, I definitely got to give you this um, position. Uh, Sarah was pissed, like no. I can't take this position, you know, basically mad at her for what she did. But she said, don't worry, you know, you pretty much can't be focused on that. You need to focus on the, the child, you know, and everything like that. And so um, Sarah went home and she started realizing the company she was working for, where she was doing aerobics, she barred in all them clients and then they kicked it to the curb. She ended up coming back to Lucille to get the position. Meanwhile, she told her son that he, she seen her mom and he showed up to visit her. And of course they reconciled. And so they basically got to the point where uh, Sarah told her, you can't tell my mom what, that I'm working with you. Because basically, you know, the mom is upset. So the mom was coming around to her husband. So the mom had this kind of outburst this guy tried to run off the world and she had this uh moment that i i, I could feel a lot of women um could respect what she's saying the stuff that a woman has to pit up with not all women but some women pit up with um and they have to take day in and day out and whatever so that was um uh, i, I burnt that up because that's a key part in the um the movie, the wife basically getting stepped on day in and day out, and she got to keep taking it, and she get cheated on, and she's supposed to just keep taking it. So nevertheless, it gets to the end, the last uh, moments of the movie, and 
Sarah's pregnant. They're having a Christmas party, and they invite everybody. So this, everybody shows up. Even the mom shows up, and the mom shows up. She got her like sexy outfit on, <laughs> trying to compete with Lucille. But um, you know, and it made uh, Ernest not Ernesto Miguel look at her differently. So. It, on the flip side where Lucille was vulnerable because her husband wasn't paying attention to her and addressing what she needed at the time. You had Miguel, his wife was just working and not keeping that sex appeal going for him. So when Lucille shows up and she just very sexy, elegant and turned them on. And so his wife, he sees her every day and, you know, it's just the norm to him. So when he seen Lucille, he's just blown away. So, you know, if you had to put that together in the two, nevertheless, at the dinner, the mom doesn't know Sarah's working with, Luc with Lucille and the mom, it's, the, it's this card that the school took and Lucille is in there with uh, Sarah. And they throw the card, they pass in the card all around the group, trying to avoid it from the mom. And her mom eventually seeing she was upset. And Lucille basically went in there to reconcile with her, like, you know, we didn't, she didn't want to tell you because she knew how you would take it, but you know, it's for the baby or whatever, the baby that's coming. And so Lucille basically said, I'm going to leave. I don't want to cause no more problems. And when as she was leaving, Sarah went to stop her, but she went into labor right then and there. And when she went into labor, uh, that brought the family together. And so that was pretty much the end of the um, movie. Overall, decent movie to watch. It's, it falls into the line of the quirky comedy. If you into it, you into it. If you're not, you're not. But if you're looking for something to watch and you're bored, why not? So um, The Perfect Family. Out of my four star rating system, I get us a two hour four stars. It falls in that line. Not over the top funny, but decent enough to watch. Um, good chemistry with the cast that played it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with a perfect family, too. I, I can definitely see that happening. So, uh, till next time.